Jester. Hello. Good day, good day, good people. Um, what have we got today? Well, we've got a doozy for you today. As usual, subscribe. Do that now. Um, subscribe to my Patreon if you can. It keeps me going. I know it's only a fiver a month, but it keeps me going. And the more of you that do it, the more I can keep going. That'd be great. However, today, what we're looking at today is another own goal by the critical social justice bastards. <laughs> I love it when they do this. So let's have a look and see, because I've got a really good example, and I've written an essay to go with it. So if you want the essay, it's on my blog. And again, like I did yesterday, I'm doing this one for free for everybody as well, so that the people on Canal Street can see it. And in particular, lesbian gay people can see it, and those who've been going to the village for years, so they can understand exactly how these people work. Right, that's the whole point of doing this today. So I'm going to do it today, yes. It's called Canal Street Racist Bars and People, because you're all racists. How the critical social justice mob operate. Now... A petition has appeared, which is doing the rounds. You know, on one of these sites where you can write any shit and get people to sign it, right? So it's doing the rounds. You have to see it to believe it. <laughs> the links are, again, in the PDF, which is on my blog, the link to which is below, OK? So you can go and have a look or read along to some of it, if you will, because I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I want to read out some bits that are really juicy before you get to, to reading the PDF. It's not that long, only a few pages. Won't hurt you. Have a read on a Sunday. Okay? Right, okay. So, the petition was started yesterday, the day before yesterday, 19th, something like that, right? I've archived the damn thing, so we've got it, because it's, it's, it's hilarious in some ways. Um, in other ways, it's deeply worrying. So, um, we'll do a bit of an analysis on it. <laughs> I'm going to read some of it out to you, right? Um, it mentions a couple of bars, right? I'm not going to mention them. They're in, they're in the essay, but I'm not going to mention them, because they're, they're on the, you know, the, the sign air. Thing. But what's most interesting of all is who signed. That's a growing list. People have signed and put little comments. Ooh, that's a growing list. <laughs> stupid, stupid people. <laughs> right, okay. They don't know what they're signing for. Right, okay. Again, back there again. They don't know what they're signing for. They're just doing it like sheep. Stop behaving like fucking sheep. What's the matter with you all? Right, here we go then. We, as a community, who are they talking about? Right. Are appalled at the disgusting treatment of Cutie Pock, House of Spice community members. Right, Cutie Pock. No, this is not an episode of Star Trek. That's the planet Cutie Pock, Spock. Cutie Pock, never mind. Right, please yourself. Right. So I've asked which community are you, are you appalled on behalf of? Name its main players. You speak for you and you alone. You're not authorised, competent or rational enough to speak on behalf of anyone. You and your cutie pop members, right? Okay. And you certainly do not speak for anyone in the LGB constituency that I know. That's you guys, right? That's you guys that I'm talking about. The ones watching this now, the people I know and the ones I don't. Hello to those I don't. So um, I wonder what the cutie pop community was. So I went and had a look. Lo and behold, where did I find the cutie pop community? On the Manchester Pride website. It's starting to sound familiar, all this, isn't it? It's almost as if Manchester Pride are at the centre of a deeply homophobic, misogynistic and Western-hating ideology. Gosh, oh my, what if that's true? OK, so here we go. Cutie Pock stands for Queer and Trans Intersex People of Cover. Colour. Queer and Trans Intersex People of Cover. What colour? Pink? Red? Or does it just mean colour generally? In which case, how dark does the shade go or how light does the shade go? The racism behind this is unbelievable. <clears throat> so uh, that's what they call themselves, right? How many times have you been told not to use the word in sex? How many times have they asked? This very small part of the population. How many times have they asked us not to do it? Just stop it. All right, OK. So um, you can read about, a bit more about what Magister Pride has to say about this. It's extraordinary. And lo and behold, we find our old friend, Dr. Christopher... Owen, who's written most of this garbage, the Canadian bloke, I've talked about him before. Um, so I've, I've archived all this shit so you can see it, right, okay? Uh, queer and intersex people of colour. Um, and from my perspective, again, this is only me, I don't speak for anybody else, I just speak for myself. Let me tell you this. You have nothing to do with the gay movement. Nothing, right? Have and had, okay? You are a subgroup of far-leftist extremists who have cuckooed their way into LGB spaces. That's what you've done. Your corruption of Manchester Pride with the disgusting cultural premise found in all critical social justice can be viewed on the Pride website. And again, I've archived that as well. So you can see it there and all, right? According to Christopher, 
the gay community and the gay were system, systemically racist, which means we can't be saved. Touch of the Munro Borg, Ber, Bergdorf's. Borgdorf, I call her, but the Munro Bergdorf, call him. Munro Bergdorf, right? No, systemically racist? Fuck off, right? Okay, so you're all racist now, just as long as you know. To put alongside everything else that they don't like about you. Just as long as you know. Right, okay, you're all racist. There's also work here from a person called Phoebe Woodle. Woodle's you know. Right? Um, apparently she's got three Ds in art or something. I saw her on LinkedIn. All the links are there. Go and have a look. Um, she's got a page that she's done about this um, where she lies about Malcolm. <laughs> the gay man who didn't throw the first stone at Stonewall, wasn't there and wasn't trans. Can't help himself, see? So then she brings up Bergdorf again, Munro Bergdorf again. You remember the one that called everybody faggots and told it, said that all white people are violent racists? These people are insane. That's the, This is who Pride are putting up as representatives of heroes of our community. Pride, you've got nothing to do with the LGBT constituency. Nothing, as far as I personally am concerned. It's for others to make up their own mind about what your motives are now and to, provide, to, to decide whether or not they're going to support you, because I, for one, am not. I have every intention of bringing you down. OK, all this is going to GMP police because it's blackmail. That's what I reckon. Could be wrong, mine. Don't know much about that. But by, by the very least, there's some menace behind this, isn't there? We'll see. Um, so the people that put this petition together called the House of Spice. Apparently are the community of the House of Spice who are made up of cutie pock folk. Right, OK. <laughs> so how do you join? Members of the House of Spice... Right, it says here, on Friday the 29th, they were gathered on Canal Street to conduct a meeting about upcoming shows. Once concluded, decided to go to this pub for the rest of the evening. Really? Members of the House of Spice, I really want to know how to join. Where's the website? There isn't one. That's odd, isn't it? For, you know, somebody that's putting on shows, not having a website. Surely you want to tell everybody what the website was. Google, however, proved helpful, along with a little help from Clive and a few others. Um, they set up the Instagram 24 hours ago. This happened on the 29th of July and the House of Spice came into being 24 hours ago. <laughs> Mad. Right, OK. Um, somebody called Lucky Roy Singh. I've no idea who that is. Apparently he's some kind of drag queer thing. Right, that's what it says here. Um, he calls himself the House Mama. Right, as if this was America, Brooklyn, 1982. And not Manchester. The UK 2022. Well, I would say to you, young man, stop watching Pose, you silly boy. He thinks he's living in Pose. This is like that mad art festival I went to where they based everything on Transformers or whatever it was. Just stop oh, talking about gay Transformers and these, you know, once you get into art and queer theory and all the crap, gender ideology and all that, it falls to pieces. And this is the sort of shit we're putting up with now. Apparently they went into this bar and they noticed the bouncers were staring at them. Right, so what they're saying is that the bouncers were racially profiling them. Right, they've got no evidence for it, by the way. We'll see. Right, okay, so what I want to know is, um, is that what they actually mean? The bouncers were staring at them. Were the, was the bouncer racially profiling you when that happened then? Is that what the bouncer was doing in V, in the venue? Right, okay. Apparently one of the house members hadn't considered dancing at that bar, which has a dance floor and has had for 20 years or more. As being part of the evening and was and was wearing a jumper which became quite warm i imagine it would do it was 20 degrees on the 29th knowing they were wearing a modestly covering bra they took the jumper off to cool down given that a number of male presenting people in vera were also topless male presenting there are no male presenting people you're either men or you aren't right you know why i say that because homophobia is reliant on sex not gender and you're a gender adult grievance gerbil there see okay you either mean men or women, which is it? Right, your homophobia stinks with your petition. Okay. Um, bearing in mind that Manchester Pride seem to be, I don't know if they are, but they seem to be in bed with these clowns. Which makes Manchester Pride also homophobic and, by the way, you know, misogynistic and they can't stand lesbians. They're the worst. Right. So that's what seems to be happening. I mean, Manchester Pride are obviously part of them philosophically, politically and culturally at this point. So, you know, what does that mean? Right. Okay. They continue to say, the bouncer then proceeded to approach the group approach the group, and demanded that the jumper be put back on. What was she doing with her breasts at that point that the jumper should be put back on, I wonder? I don't know. Nothing, maybe. Doesn't matter, really, if she's got a jumper off. I don't care if she's in a bra. Why should we care? 
The group asked the bank so why they should put the jumper back on because there were a number of male presenting people in Via. Twice they've said it now. Men, you're tosspots, right? Anybody else is just a LARPing woman. Or women and anybody else is just a LARPing man. All right, okay, that's how it works. The situation began to escalate and Lucky stepped in to ease the tension. Well, it was Lucky. Lucky was there. How did Lucky step in? The bouncer pinched Lucky and discreetly said, get out, and then erased this term, which I'm not going to repeat here. I will not speak the words of Mordor here. Right? Get out. So it pinched him and said, get out. Very strange thing for a bouncer to do. Maybe that's just me. Last time I upset a bouncer, he put me in a headlock and threw me out the door at rate of knots. Couldn't do that now. I'm too fat. Right, okay, so. Shocked a hurt. Shocked a hurt. The group left the bar. The staff apologised. After they left the bar? Right, OK, and did not question the actions of the bouncer or challenge them. Right? So I want to know who escalated the situation, the bouncer or the group? The time and date of the incident. I want to report this to the police on, on their behalf. Right? The time and date of the incident, the description and name of the bouncer, the picture you took of anyone involved, which there will be pictures, or there won't. Images of any bruising from being pinched. Those will be important, though they won't not be there now because it's, you know, over 20 days since this happened. And the petitions appeared now. A description name of the bar staff who apologised, a statement of what apology, what the apology said, and evidence you have that this was motivated by systemic racism. That's all I want. Then I'll report it to the police for you. OK? The group then headed to another bar and sat in the outside area of the vacant tables. Ten minutes later, they were approached by the bouncer from this bar who informed the group that the owner wanted them to leave. They asked for the reason why and the bouncer said they didn't know, but they felt that it was bullshit, said the bouncer. Right. OK, but it was what the owner had requested. Really, I know this owner. Guess what? They're a person of colour. Right, OK. Well, again, I would say to you, what you are claiming has been you've been racially profiled by Parfop, have you? I mean, if you have, I suggest you speak to the solicitor as this is a clear breach of the Equality Act 2010. So time and date of the incident again, please, so we can know the description name of the bouncer, the pictures you took of anyone involved. The full details of all the witnesses and those involved. Details of the owner who said it and the evidence that you possess that the request was motivated by systemic racism rather than the fact that you might have been behaving like twats. The public wants to know. The entire ordeal left the group... If you think this is an ordeal, you haven't lived. The entire ordeal left the group understandably very upset, targeted and angry. You were targeted. For what? Colour of your skin? No one was intoxicated. Go on. How long have you been angry? Are you new to this? And the group were simply out on Canal Street wanting to enjoy the evening in what should be a safe space for all queer people of colour. Get this straight. It's the gay village. OK? And it's a village for same-sex attracted people. That's what, it's for. It's, that's what it is. What about same sex? You know why? Because men like to fuck men and do it often. Right? OK, there used to be a time when lesbians used to meet other lesbians there, but they can't go there anymore because of the pretend men in dresses. Well, pretend women in dresses. Straight men who won't leave them alone. Right. It's called the Gay Village. Um, it's not a safe space. People go there to get leathered and carry out risky behaviours. Safe from what? You want a safe space? Go home. It's not a safe space. It's an adult space and you're an adult. Behave like one. We don't tolerate racism. We don't tolerate homophobia. We don't tolerate anything, really, that's really part of what you are. Because queer theory, gender ideology and critical race theory, which is what you're part of, because I can see it. Critical race theory is what you're part of, are, is racist homophobic and misogynist right if that's what you are if that's what you're declaring by this nonsense you aren't welcome in my book anyway right really these people and then it says that the village has major issues with racism and incidents of such well i mean you know show me the proof please and this is why queer people of color are resistant and often afraid to be a visible part of the LGBTQ plus community. There is no LGBTQ plus hands, knees and bumps to daisy community other than in the mind of Manchester Pride, the ridiculous organisations that couldn't make money out of gay people anymore. So decided to add everything else under the under the sun so they could keep their cash flow going. Nothing to do with gay people. We don't give a fuck. Right. Nothing to do with gay people. So they put a list of demands. This is the best bit by far. The list of demands. <laughs> That cases, right? The bars are to meet with House of Spice members. Who? They've already been around 24 hours. House of Spice members alongside a third party to facilitate an apology. Now, I wonder who that third party might be, do you think? Pride? Somebody from Pride, perhaps? <laughs> 
what I'm going to do with each, I'm going to read them out and then I'm going to say what my response is. OK, just so that you get an idea of what I would say if I was the person that was being approached by this bunch of aggravating far left extremists. Right. OK, so um, who exactly are the third party, I wonder? Uh, please provide details just for the hell of it. The answer is no. Next, they want a stakeholder led meeting with all venues within Manchester's gay village to facilitate an independent, properly funded, show me the money, right, review of venues and what improvements can be made to make them more diverse and genuinely inclusive places. We are genuinely inclusive and diverse. We always have been, you see. Right, show me the money. That's what it's about. And he wants some money, OK? Um, we've always excluded homophobes. Gender identity ideology and queer theory is homophobic, right? That's why I personally think you should be excluded. Be more than happy to exclude you from the village once I find out exactly who you are. OK, that's what I do. So the answer is no, you're not getting it, OK? All venues in Manchester's gay village get this. All venues, well, really? To introduce equitable hiring practices to ensure venues hire more diversely than they currently do, which includes security that is used throughout the village. Well, now you're showing your communist knickers, aren't you? Yep, equity, is it? Under a million dead last time I looked. I've got no more tolerance for communism than I have for, for Nazism. You understand? These are two, two sides of the same coin. So again, the answer to your question and your request is no, you're not having it. Support for sustainable inclusion of trans and people of colour performers in venues throughout the village. No, no. If you're that good, compete with everybody else. Ah, you can't, can you? Because you don't believe in meritocracy, do you? You don't believe in meritocracy. You think people should be chosen on the basis of their skin or their sexuality or what they happen to think they've adopted by calling themselves non-binary, trans or queer. You want to play the game? You play the game like everybody else. You think you're good enough to stand up and do what the drag queens have done for years making money? You think you're good enough to work where these people have worked and have then gone to work in prestigious hotels in London and around the world? Then you play the game. If you aren't meritocratically up for it, then go and do something else. You're not getting special privileges. The answer is no. Paid employment across venues in, in the village to facilitate this work. No, we're not going to pay you to, ra to, to lecture us and tell us we're racist. Go away. You're so manipulative and emotionally stunted grievance miners. That's what you are. Grow up. OK, you don't get special treatment. Grow up. You're scrapping about in the gutter like the rest of us. Venues in the village to begin the process of accreditation to certify venues as welcoming to lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, intersex and people of colour. Let me tell you this. All right. When I was at my lowest, the village was my saviour 24 years ago. I know and I can introduce you to dozens of people who came here because they wanted somewhere where they could feel part of something. You are not that. It's lesbian, and gay and bisexual. Everything else can go now, as far as I'm concerned. Go. You've got nothing to do with us at all queer intersex and just get stuffed i'm not having it right you're like mao and stalin they'd be proud of you congratulations folks you've given us a starting point for banning individuals involved in your cult who has taken over lgb spaces you are dangerous not by design but by dint of your unbelievable stupidity you need to take your grift elsewhere. We don't do homophobia. We don't do far right funded experiments on children. We are not interested in your trans and queer lens. OK, now leave. You're not welcome. All right. It's the gay village. It's for people who are same sex attracted. We do not believe in gender identity. The answer is no to all these. But that's just me. Could I ask somebody else? I might think something different. And the ability to do what I'm doing right now is why we have these discussions so that I can give you my opinion on what I think is the most dreadful attempt to uh, inculcate grievance, division and to pit us against one another based on the fact that you think what happened to you that night is about race. It's not about race. It's got nothing to do with race at all. It's to do with the fact that you have disgusting, filthy cultural and political views that require segregation, identification by innate group and then splitting those people into groups so that they can fight against each other forever. It's the power and oppression narratives you want. And the kids that wrote this might not know that, but the buggers that put you up to it do.